Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experience. Last week, we were down at Lake Georgetown exploring or revisiting Jim Hogg, Corps of Engineer Campground. We've traveled north about an hour and I'm back at Belton Lake. I'm gonna close out Belton Lake with this video. We are at, as you saw in the title up there, Live Oak Ridge, Belton Lake. I mean, I can, I, you probably can't see it, but the dam is right there. This is a beautiful little campground, but it does have some surprises. And I was kind of caught by surprise <laughs> when I arrived. I mean, I looked at that picture. I looked at the picture on recreation.gov and that picture was taken from right here. But there was nothing in the site <laughs> to show how much slope there is on this site. And this is site number, this site number 32. Now I, I've noticed, and we're gonna check this out in a little while, over there, all the sites have been renovated. And over here in the trees, they have not. Well, site number 32 is 30 amp and water. Walking distance to the facilities. Lots of beautiful shade. Asphalt pad. It's got a bit of a drop off. A brand new, woohoo, we're styling. We got a brand new fire ring ready to burn some wood. Some cooker and a picnic table. No canopy, but we got lots of shade trees. We're gonna go see some stuff. We're gonna go see some live oak ridge stuff. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go check out the handicap shower. We'll do that right now. We have a nice, big, spacious shower. Hot water. There is hot water. They're, they're all big. I said all, I mean, they're both big. It looks like this has been recently renovated. Probably renovated when they did the other the other side. All right, I need some wheels and we'll go see some stuff. Bright, you'll have to pardon me for squinting. Anyway, at Live Oak Ridge, Live Oak Ridge Campground. My boat ramp fans, not gonna be happy. We're closed due to low water levels. And the courtesy dock, She's uh, high and dry. You know, I was gonna do some magnet fishing off of the courtesy dock because that's where stuff would be falling in the water. But all you gotta do now is get out there and look around. And this seems to be the only point of water access for Live Oak Ridge. If only I had a kayak. I could launch the kayak. Live Oak Ridge, site number three. Now I'm thinking this is this is my preferred site for this campground. Mainly because it's got some shade on the southwest side. Super flat, level, no need to block up here. Of course, we have water and 50 amp. How about that? Water and 50, a table with a canopy, fire ring. Sad day. No lantern hook. What you gonna do? All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you're planning a visit to Live Oak Ridge, if you have little ones that'll be with you, they'll be excited. There's a really cool play structure. Got a swing that you can go real high and 
jump off of. Cool trees to climb. If the structure's not good enough, they even have baby swings. Best of all, there's benches. <laughs> so so the, the adults can so the adults can sit and watch while the kids burn off all that sugar. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you're looking for a place somewhere kind of central Texas to have a shindig with a bunch of people, or not even necessarily a bunch of people, but some people, if you want some people to get together, they have an activity center, a, a group hall, an air conditioned building that you can hang out in. And look at the beautiful park setting. Man, how cool is that? All right, let's 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 go see some more stuff. I'd like to thank Brooklyn Betty for sponsoring today's video. Are you still sleeping on that thin inner spring cheap mattress that came with your RV? Are you getting tired of waking up with a stiff neck and a sore back when you're actually out camping and trying to enjoy yourself? I know where you're coming from. I used to do, I used to wake up like that every time I went camping. But thanks to RVmattresses.com from Brooklyn Bedding, we now sleep just as good when we're in the RV as when we do at home on that number bed that we have. Even better than when we're sleeping on that number bed at home. They've got several things going for them. One, they have a factory in Arizona. That's right here in the US of A. Number two, they give you 120 nights to sleep on that mattress and decide whether or not it is right for you. 120 night guarantee. When you decide to keep that mattress, you get a 10 year warranty. That's peace of mind right there. 120 night free trial and a 10 year warranty. Can't go wrong with that. Every bed that you have, they have a mattress for, whether it's at home or in the RV. So I encourage you to pay a visit to rvmattresses.com backslash DudeRV. If you decide to make that purchase, use the code DudeRV and they're gonna give you a special deal. All right, let's, let's get back to the video. Welcome to Temple Park, Belton Lake. They've got some swings. Teens a little bit short for my log legs, but kids will enjoy it. So in case you're wondering, we are at, I'm camped at Live Oak Ridge, but I'm visiting Temple Park. Because if you want to go swimming and you're camped at Live Oak Ridge, there's, there's no beach. Look at Temple Park is nothing but beach. We've got a cool play structure for the kiddos. Loads of picnic tables and barbecue cookers. And probably a mile of beach and two boat ramps. Let's do two boat ramps. In case you can't tell, the weather changed we had major rain come through last night and a cold front this morning it's downright chilly and a rain jacket is all i have so i'm not going to be riding i'm not going to be riding sable it's too cold we're gonna have to tour it in the car in the truck let's go see a boat ramp temple park has two boat ramps this would be the down lake boat ramp the other would be the up lake i guess i'm designating this as the down lake because that's way is the it you go that way to the dam and you go that way you go to the river so this would be the down lake side <laughs> well it's a boat ramp with water at the end but you can see how low the lake really is even with 
a huge rainstorm that came through last night and dropped a lot of rain on a lot of places out here still still struggling all right let's go see some more stuff temple park we're out on the peninsula the point wanted to give you a, a real good perspective of this so let's let's throw the camera up in the air I bet this place is hopping busy when it's warm. It's not warm today, which is why there's nobody here. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Let's go find some stuff. Belton Lake. We just drove across the dam. Here's that footage. I'm at the outflow for the Leon River. <laughs> it's windy and it's a cold wind. That's a long way down. I did a little reading this morning on Belton Lake. This is actually known, it was known as, and I guess it still is known as, the Tennessee Valley. Five families moved here from Tennessee back in the late 1800s. And they, they felt this looked like Tennessee, so they called it the Tennessee Valley. Belton Lake, when it's at pool, when it's full, is about 150 feet deep. All right, let's go see some more Belton Lake stuff. They are most serious about not wanting you to climb that fence. But we do have a, a pass through here. We're at Miller Park, below the dam. This is actually a, a very, there are a lot of hiking trails here in Miller Park. but they apparently don't want you fishing the outflow. I'll probably come back later. Sun is supposed to come out. There's some biking trails over here. Well, you can hear lots of water. The sound of lots of water. That's a big, thick cottonwood tree. We're here in the Stilling Pond, the outflow from the, of the, this is the Leon River. Man, I bet there's some good fishing in that water. I bet there's some big catfish with all the stuff coming, all the, with all the bait fish coming out of the lake. So directly across the, the highway, the, not the highway, FM 439, yeah, 439. No, wait a minute, FM 2271. So we're camped right here. And I came across the road and we are at the Miller Springs Nature Center. This is a cooperation between a nonprofit and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. At some point in the, in the not too distant past, the lake actually overflowed. This is the lake spillway. And this overflowed and it destroyed everything down here. And so the nature center was created to bring that back to life. There's a couple of things I'm really interested in seeing, but getting there might be a bit of a challenge. 
Now there are bike trails and we just came, we were right down here. But this, this is where the bike trail starts. The only thing is on this map, there doesn't show you where to get on the bike trails. There's hiking trails. So the West Access Trail, according to this graph, there's only two trails that allow bikes, the South and the Prairie. So here, okay, that, that's showing bicycles, but that doesn't show bicycles up here. <laughs> it's a bit confusing, but there's some things I want to see. Like, what is this? Is that a Texas road marker sign? There's a well, there's a bridge down here somewhere where there's a stone bridge there. It looks like there's a bridge there. Of course, that's a bicycle trail. I don't know. We're going to go take a look because I want to go out here and see the the mural. But I don't know. I don't know if I can take a little red. I don't know what the trail's like. So we're going to crest the hill and take a look. Stay tuned. Let's go see some some Leon River stuff. I just spoke with a local asking about the trail and uh, would it be, could I get down here on Sable? And he said, not likely. He said, you know, the first, it's deceptive because it looks, they've got this ramp that we're going to go down. Uh, and then, you know, and from the top of this ramp, it looks good, but he said it gets really bad. So we're trying to head over there. Good thing I didn't pull out a little red. Oop, it's a good thing I didn't pull out sable. We'd uh, we would not have made it this away. I guess that part got washed away.
So that's the mural. I think that must be the artist right there. Don't know. <laughs> now I gotta go back. It's always a good idea to take a picture of the trail map. <laughs> I don't know where I am! No, just kidding. I'm on the same trail. That's why it's called the Tennessee Valley. And there's a pretty good vista view of the valley. And it's kind of where the better developed trail divides. And it becomes a lot more primitive. Good morning. Oh, it's a beautiful morning here at Live Oak Ridge Campground. We really like this little campground. Not this site so much because actually it's not too bad. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna camp in this side again though. I think next time I'm gonna be across the way where the 50 amps are. So being right in the heart of Belton Temple, being in town, there's a lot of road noise. And you can probably hear it in the background. A lot of road noise. Not quite as loud as White Flint Park, but it's noticeable. That's about the only bad thing I have to say. You know, there's not a whole lot going on in this campground, but I've shown you the day use areas. I've sh there's plenty to do here at, at Live Oak Ridge. And, you know, if you don't want to cook, you're, you're five minutes from more restaurants than, you know. And, and of course, right across the, the, the dam is the Dead Fish Grill. We didn't go there. Someday, but the menu looks really good. And we're done here. We gotta go back, back north and get the house ready to sell. I like this, and as I said, I'm gonna repeat myself. We really like Live Oak Ridge Campground. It's a great waypoint stop because it's not too far off of 35. It's a fantastic destination. Uh, kids were having a, all the kids were having a blast last night. Uh, but the, in general, the camping crowd, they were behaving themselves. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you're new to the channel, you, you're probably not aware of the the biannual events that we now are having coming up in August. We're gonna be at Lake Whitney, Ham Creek Park. We're calling it Buzzard Days because <laughs> it's the, the hottest part of the year. We're camping. We have a Facebook group called Duders. Dude R V apostrophe S. Duders. You can learn all you want there. You can learn all you want about buzzard days on the Facebook page, duders.com. Dude RVs, the spell D U D E R V S. Duders. Duders. So, we're done. If you enjoyed our visit to Live Oak Ridge and belt and lake please consider uh, click on that thumbs up blast me out across your social media if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you so much that's why i get to come out here and do this 
and for my patrons. I am most grateful. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?